Hi, meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather and ski conditions. And first, we'll do a uh, live camera up there at uh, Solitude up in Big Cottonwood Canyon. Snow is on the way. The northwest flow will bring in a good batch of snow to a lot of mountain ranges, actually, uh, this afternoon, tonight, and into Saturday. Saturday looks like a pretty good powder day over the interior uh, of the west. So let's get into the uh, the analysis here, radar and satellite. Let me show you what is uh, what is happening? So that northwest flow pattern I've been talking about most of the week is establishing itself. It's starting to bring the moisture south. You probably, you're going to feel it. The winds are going to be increasing if they haven't already over the ridge tops um, through Wyoming and Utah, and it is already uh, hammering the central and northern mountains of Colorado with high winds. And it's very cold. This northwest flow is bringing in some colder air at the higher elevations. So. Let me zoom in just a little bit more here on this radar and satellite so you can see the blue, which is snow, coming south. This is all coming from the Pacific Northwest, and it's bumping into the higher peaks, and we're getting some more graphics. And that's what we're going to see happen over the top of the Wasatch, the Tetons, and into Colorado over the next 24 to 36 hours. So future radar. Okay, so this is Saturday morning. If you're going to be seeing Saturday morning, you'll have, it will be snowing, Tetons down into the Wasatch. It'll be snowing through the central and northern mountains of Colorado. You've got snow back through parts of western Montana and Idaho, and still some snow falling up in the Pacific Northwest as well. And we'll have seen some pretty good totals accumulate by the time we get into Saturday morning, along with high winds. Uh, the high winds will be a feature as well over the ridge tops. But notice how quickly it clears the area. It's kind of in and it's out. The, the flow kind of dries up. You know, um, this is uh, this is not a giant northwest flow. Looking at my notes, this is definitely a low category, <laughs> a low category northwest flow. It's as far as duration, it's short. And as far as magnitude, it's on the low side, but it will deliver some decent snow for Saturday. And then it's, I mean, you can see the break behind it. The thing we're going to run into between Sunday and Monday is a building area of high pressure across the west. This is going to keep a lot of these areas warm after this moves away and the temperatures will go up briefly. The thing I'm watching for next week, and I'll talk more about this with some of my updates over the weekend, is what happens up here in the Pacific Northwest with a low dropping down? There's also a cutoff low that will kind of swing down across California and the West Coast. What happens with those features by the time we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week? Will they have enough strength to bring snow into the West or will we end up mostly dry? Those are all important questions that I'll start to answer as we kind of work our way through the weekend. Um, in the next week. I mean, you can see what we're dealing with on Monday. That, I mean, this is a clear example of what I'm talking about. I mean, look at this giant ridge of high pressure sitting across California, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, southern Idaho, and for the most part, Colorado as well. You know, can we break that high pressure down next week and deliver some snow? Uh, we'll see. By the time we get into Tuesday on this uh, future radar, Again, really watching the Pacific Northwest to kind of see what that moisture is going to do. This, there's some indications that you can see it here by Tuesday morning that a little bit of that snow kind of leaks to the south into Idaho and maybe northern California and Nevada, but this is definitely not set in stone at this point. It really depends on the strength of the low, the strength of the high, and whether or not we can break this thing down or not. But we'll leave those questions for um, another day at this point. We just don't have enough guidance at this point. All right, so as we look at the uh, the totals here, the snow totals between today, tonight, and Saturday, you can see what I'm talking about here as soon as these uh, catch up. For Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee, I'd look at uh, Park City, I'd look at Solitude, Brighton, Alta, and Snowbird. Uh, big Sky as well. So we're talking, you know, if we look at a range here, by Saturday morning from Big Sky, Bridger Bowl, all the way down to Grand Targhee, Jackson Hole, and uh, Snow Basin, and the Park City, and Alta Snowbird, anywhere from 6 to 14 inches in these areas by Saturday morning. So Saturday is going to be a big powder day, all the way you know from southern Montana into uh, the Wasatch of Utah. On the back side of that, I think Sun Valley will have you know, a moderate snow accumulation by Saturday morning. You're looking at about a foot up there in Rainier, Timberline down to Bachelor. And we're just, by Saturday morning, starting to see some of the accumulations there in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. If I was looking at Colorado skiing Saturday, I'd look at probably snow mass kind of up to Steamboat. Those would be the areas I would uh, focus on. Totals by Sunday morning, you can see we've added some accumulation in Colorado. 
uh, from Crest to Butte, Aspen, Snowmass to Vail, all the way up into Steamboat. Loveland gets about five out of this thing. Not a ton, but at least it is something, and the winds are going to blast through probably Saturday in Colorado and then calm and settle down into Sunday. But you know, we've added a little bit. I think we'll end up around a foot in Jackson Hole, give or take a few inches on the on the higher side, depending on how long the flow stays and how the orographics are. I think that you know what you see here might be the total middle of the road for Jackson. We could be looking on the high side, you know, 15 inches. And you can see we've added a little bit more in Alta as well. All right, so that's through Sunday morning. I don't see a whole lot running into Monday, especially once this pattern breaks and clears. I think any additional accumulations are going to be few and far between, and we're going to run into that ridging problem from Sunday into Monday and probably Tuesday. But again, we'll talk about that another day. I hope you enjoy the weekend. There are definitely some bright spots here for skiing on Saturday and Sunday. Take care. Always appreciate you tuning in here.